Hello, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, Master Parkinson behind the camera here. And we've got Miss Shorthouse with us today. Hi, Miss Shorthouse. How we doing? Are we ready to rock and roll? <laughs> okay. So the video we've got on, uh, on this tutorial is basic form two. So it's one of the four basic forms that we teach. The first one that we learn is uh, Cho Bo Jie Hyung, the beginner's form. And then we've got three basic forms, basic form one, two, and three. And if you've seen the tutorial already for basic form one, they all follow the same pattern. So once you've had a look at basic form one, then you can have a go at basic form two. So if you're coming to this video first and you've not done basic form one yet, I suggest you go back to uh, the menu, find basic form one, and do that first because there's more description in basic form one because the fundamentals are the same for all three of these forms. So do have a look at basic form one first and then come back to this video, but only if you've done one of the warm-up videos online. So we've got two warm-up videos for you to do. We've got the one that I recommend, which is the Daily 30. So it's 30-minute warm-up with Master Parkinson, that's me behind the camera, and Master Smythe, Master Smythe. And if you do that warm-up every day, I promise you'll come back to class, you'll be super kicking. Now, if you've not got time for the 30-minute warm-up because you've got other things to do, there's also a 10-minute warm-up with Master Smythe. That will be perfect before you do anything because, as we say, you want to make sure you've warmed up your muscles before you do any exertion, even just throwing your arms about because we don't want to pull those muscle fibres. We don't want to be off with, you know, aching muscles. We want to use this time to get fitter, stronger, faster, leaner, meaner, and, uh, well, not meaner, we've got to care and share with everybody, but I mean in terms of your martial arts training. So anyway, let's have a look now. Let's assume you've done the warm-up video. There's a link below. Assume you've done that. Now we're going to have a look at um, basic form two. So, Chunbi, the ready position. And the first move, just like in basic form one, we're going to look to the left. So you'll look to your left. Now in a minute we're going to reverse the position so you'll be able to see this from the rear section as well, Miss Shorthouse. We're going to do that from behind. But we'll start off facing forward. See how this looks. Shisan, low block. Ha! And you want to be in a chungle jase front stance. Do! And we step forward. Now notice the difference between basic form one and basic form two. Have you spotted it? What's the answer? Type it in the message bar below. No, actually don't do that because everybody else will see. It's a high block. Or is it a high punch? It's a high punch. Let me put my glasses back on. So in basic form one, we've got a middle punch to the solar plex. In basic form two, we've got a high punch to the in chung, top lip. Shi sun means look. Hana. One. Do. Two. Now we've just repeated those same moves in the other direction. Shi sun look to the front. Hana. Do a low block going forwards. Now, moving forwards now, high blocks, one, two, and move the camera around, three. Perfect, thank you Miss Shorthouse. Now, this is, if you remember, and you have watched the tutorial from Basic Form 1, where we do the big turn. And in Basic Form 1, we showed that a few times, so make sure you're familiar with that. But we're effectively going to turn our face round 270 degrees for those members doing geometry at school. If you prefer, your rear leg is going to move just 90 degrees anti-clockwise. Let's watch Miss Shorthouse turn over your left shoulder. Go! Is that anti-clockwise? Yes, sir. It is, isn't it? Good, just check it. Do! High punch. Now look, we've got the same moves we had before. Look over your punching arm. Step backwards, low block. Hana! Do! And then it's going to be a, that's right at home, a high block. Now look down the centre. If you remember basic form one, we've got this I shape now. We're going back down the center line. Hana, low block. Do you remember what, what's next? High blocks. One, two, and on the third one, we do a key up. Three. Look over your left shoulder. Now, this is a 270 degree turn here, so let's just move the camera around. Hana. What's next at home? Do. Did you get it right? She son, which way are you gonna go next? Hana! Do! She son, 
Paddle. Now, if you've done basic form one, you'll see that that's definitely the same pattern as basic form one. Now let's have a look at the form again, but this time, let's change the angle. In fact, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Miss Shorthouse, just because I don't get the reflection in the mirror, can you turn around? And then we're all facing the same way. Thank you very much. And you're very welcome to take a couple of steps back if you want to. Good work. And I'm gonna try and follow you behind a little bit here. So, everybody face the... She son, look. Hana! Do! We're going this way now. She son, look over your punching arm. Hana! Do! She son, look down the middle. Hana! Do! Set! Net! Look over your non blocking arm, your left shoulder. And you're gonna move your left leg all the way around to the side wall. And a big turn. Hana! Do! She son. Hana! Do! She son. Oh, with she son, we're looking towards the, the back of the room. Hana! Low block. Now we're coming to, towards the back. One, where we started from. Two, how many high blocks at home? Three. Look over your left shoulder and do a big turn. One. Two, just like the starting moves. One. Two. And paro. And we've finished back where we started. Thank you, Miss Shorthouse. Young Nay. Well done, everybody. Now, my recommendation, as we said in all the other form videos, is practice your forms five times a day. So beginners, this form's really aimed at, um, well, you can learn it at the beginner level. There's no harm in the beginners learning this at home and getting ahead because you, you actually demonstrate these forms at sort of blue belt and green belt level. More really green belt level uh, for graduations. And then, of course, Dan members, you should be practicing all your forms daily. So you may have your daily dozen of forms that you're going to do at home. So you're going to pick 12 forms that you want to practice and do them all the time. Because the, when you get to black belt, you have much, many more forms to remember. So thank you again, Miss Shorthouse. And we'll see you all on the next video.